Hey guys, what's up? My name is Speedbreaker, and in today's video, I'd like to talk about my render settings and, in my opinion, how to get the best quality on YouTube if you're using Sony Vegas. Now, if you want to have really high quality video, there's virtually no way around 60 FPS videos, simply due to the fact that YouTube assigns higher bit rates to 60 FPS videos compared to 1080p 30 FPS videos. So if you want to have high quality, I'll definitely recommend you to record with Shadowplay, since with Shadowplay you can record in 60 FPS, 90 megabits per second, and the recording literally doesn't influence your in-game performance. All right, so once you've got your raw material and you've edited your clips in Sony Vegas, you want to change a couple of settings before you actually render the video out. The first thing you always have to do is you have to disable resample, guys. It's really important. A lot of people don't do this, and it, it, it's just a necessity in today's video editing. Now here I have a clip where I haven't disabled resampling yet. So as you can see here, it kind of looks like this double vision and it's all blurry and shitty and you don't want this in your videos. So to disable this feature, as it is in Sony Vegas, you have to click on the selection tool down here, select all of your video clips in your timeline, right click, click on switches, disable resample and boom! As you can see you have a sharp nice picture no more blending of frames and it's just all nice and dandy. Alright, the next thing you want to do is you want to add some color correction to this. Um, if you compare this clip here, which is the raw clip, uh, to the one I've already rendered out here, you see that my rendered clip is a lot more vibrant and it looks overall just a lot nicer than the raw clip. So basically what I've done here is I've just used a color corrector here in the video effects tab, color corrector. I actually have my own template. I will actually link the template in the description below so you can just download it and use your own. It's called the Shadow, Shadow Play template and it basically just adds some saturation and it just makes the video look overall a lot nicer. So the last thing I usually do before I render out my videos is I add some sharpener on the videos. Now this is a highly personal thing if you actually want to do this or not. Um, it does change or alter the video quite a bit on how it looks and I've actually prepared a little bit of an example here on how it looks with and without sharpener. I've actually rendered this clip here, uh, uploaded it to YouTube once with and once without sharpener and here's the result. So basically I'm gonna have to select this one here. This is how it looks with the sharpener. Let's just wait for this to go and this is how it looks Oh no, actually the other way around. This is with sharpener and this is without sharpener. As you can see here, the text is a little bit less legible if it's without the sharpener compared to with sharpener. And also the color scheme kind of changes a little bit. Um, I guess it's kind of hard to see here on YouTube, um, but it's really quite noticeable actually in game. And actually it's really just a personal thing if you want to use sharpener like this one here or no sharpener without. Um, obviously, if you use sharpener, it's going to use a lot more of your CPU power. So if you have not the best PC, you probably want to use no sharpener because, well, I guess it's just going to take too long to render out. So to add sharpen, just go to sharpen. I again have a template here, which I will again put in the description so you can just download it. I put it at 0.05 and there you go. Your video clips are ready to be rendered out. All right, so in order to render, obviously you want to select the region that you actually want to render. Click on File, Render As. Now go to Main Concept, ABC AAC. Click on Internet HD 1080p. Click on Customize Template. Now here you want to change a couple of things. First of all, the profile, you can keep that at Main. The frame rate, obviously you want to put at 60 FPS. You don't want the uh, source to adjust to the frame rate because otherwise it's just going to render at 30 FPS. Field order none. Pixel aspect ratio one. Number of reference frames you want to put at 14 and use step locking filter enable. Now this basically just makes your video a lot less choppy and a lot less pixelated I've realized. Um, 14 is the highest number you can go. It doesn't work higher. Um, and it really looks a lot better than if you just use two. Then you want to use a variable bitrate. You want to use a maximum bitrate of 40 million. You want to use an, an average bitrate of 30 million. Now, obviously, this is a rather high bitrate to render at. And I've actually tried how it looks with 30, 20, 20, 10. 
Um, but really, for me, the best optical quality has been reached with 4030. And going above this doesn't really help you with the video quality at all. Um, but going below actually does look a little bit worse. So if you want the best quality on YouTube, this is the way to go. Number of slices, you keep at four. Now, the encode mode is kind of tricky. Now, if you do have a GPU that allows you to render on your GPU, you can use either OpenCL or CUDA. Um, but if you have any of the more recent or up-to-date GPUs, Sony Vegas is actually not gonna um, support your GPU. So for me, I have a GTX 980 and it's not supportive of Sony Vegas. So I can only use the CPU. Enable progressive download, you actually want ticked because this allows you in YouTube kind of this timeline below to show a video or kind of show the pictures when you click with your mouse in, in the timeline. All right, going to the audio tab, um, you want to match your sample rate here with the one you're actually using on your PC. So if you're not sure what you're using on your PC, just right click here on your sound speaker symbol, click on playback devices, click on the default playback device if you're right mouse, click on properties, and there you have what kind of quality you're using. Obviously, you also want to use the same quality for your microphone. So here you do the same, just look, extend it, there you go. You've got the uh, 48,000 Hertz. You definitely want to match this to your sample rate. Bit rate, you can basically leave at the default value of 192,000. Then system, you can just neglect. Go to project, use video rendering quality, best. And that is pretty much it. Now you can name your setting that you've just created and call it, for example, YouTube best quality, 60 FPS. Click on the save button, click on OK, and render your video. There you go, you have now created probably the best quality on YouTube out there. Obviously, it's going to take quite a long time to render out this video. Now, for me, this is going to take around five minutes to render out this video. That's about one minute of length. And obviously, if it takes too long for you, you can still um, drop the sharpener. That will save you a lot of time. And you can also decrease the bit rates a little bit. But I would really not recommend to decrease the bit rates too much because obviously you want the best possible quality out there. Now, also, I've actually uploaded the video that I've rendered here onto YouTube, so you can go and check it out. It's linked in the description or on the screen right now. But that's it for my video rendering settings. I hope I could help out some of you guys out there uh, in improving your video quality. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below, and I will gladly answer all of your questions. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment below. Have a good one, and I'll see the next video. Cheers!